I done licked the bitch before. What I look like judge another I can't. licking it only lasts about 30 seconds after about the 15th lick the gone. Yeah, you didn't really? swallow. You ever knocked that boiled egg smell out of a p that is oh, great. Oh. Did you say boiled yeah, egg? Yeah, if you knock smell? if you pounded a p right, it's gonna smell like boiled eggs at some point in the room. I don't know what's well, going it's crazy. <laughs> 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 that that women do lay eggs. Just forget that women lay eggs. When Every girl had that little um, alien mouth come out. Of <laughs> you know the look like when, when they come. Sometimes they it be a little alien mouth without the teeth. <laughs> yeah, keep licking it to let alien alien mouth come out. Like it's like a beak and try. To I want to spit in somebody's mouth. Hold on, hold on. Let me spin your mouth. If they are amateur, oh. please be careful. Do not do raw content <laughs> as far as oral, anal, or vaginal. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said, Craig, that's an infection, bro. I, <laughs> infected. Who said is, that? Is great, yeah. Who said <laughs> that? <laughs> it's great. It's great. You know how good <laughs> antibodies feel on your... Oh, wow. S E S Y Y R E D. What my name? Sexy Red. You know what to do. Yeah. I said in the song is um a lyric. I said I said damn this nigga burn me. Smoking like a seed. No, I ain't ever had. I had chlamydia before though twice. Me and my together, and we broke up because he was cheating on me. So then we broke up. Then I went and did me. <laughs> and oh, then he shit. did him. And then we got, got we together. missed each other, came back together. My called me the next day and was like, You had a condom in your trash can and stuff. I'm like, that wasn't my condom. I like we both was like, what the f this smell? <laughs> oh, I'm like, ugh, what's going on? So <laughs> then we both the went together? to the doctor. Yeah, we went to the doctor yeah. together. So sexy red responds to a fan saying they want to catch an S T D from her. She said it's gone now, I took my meds. She had she, I, I think she did say she had that. Sexy Red invites me out to club. Sexy pulls up. Go big sexy. Oh, club. Sexy energy is unmatched. Appreciate her FR. I love you, sexy. Go big Gucci. I just want. Right. I'm a chill. I'm a. Right. I'm a chill. 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 Yeah. Hey, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Young and turn your old ass man. That's that burn you. There you go. That's that. That's go laugh at you while it's burning you. <laughs> yeah. Man, don't she got some lipstick called chlamydia? Lip gloss brand. The names for my lip gloss is something that nobody would have ever thought of. I got one called Nut, and it's the color of some nut. I got one called Gonorrhea. It's green like Gonorrhea. I got one called Yellow Discharge. Like how girls be having yellow discharge. Don't she got some chapstick called Gonorrhea? Cold pink, booty hole brown. It's cute and it smell good. And it's so like people was like, you is a marketing genius. Cause it's so so fast. And it smell good too. Hell yeah, yeah, she go burn your mother. And she said she like raw too. I don't use condoms, baby. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. That hard boiled egg smell. That ain't no. That ain't no regular. <laughs> no, that mean you in the back of the pussy. I'm really? To imagine what nigga, a hard boiled egg. That's organ. Nigga, you in a. <laughs> you smelling her lunch? <laughs> <laughs> what did you talk about? Bitch? That's organ juice. No, that's the, that's the oh. bottom of a lung dripping on your. That's how. That ain't normal. <laughs> Craig said he know what a uterus smell like. Yeah. <laughs> this in a big telescope. Plan B in the mouth. <laughs> he got Plan B juice in his mouth. Oh hey, Craig God. licks uvula. Yeah, man. Man. Hey, but what is man. the uvula? I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's a body part. Where's that little hole? It's a little hole in the. The urethra? It's too small that's for a peephole. Yeah, but it's a, the urethra. A, is that what it is? The urethra. I done licked the net, motherfucker. Where they pee from? Yeah. That's, that's, that's where they pee that's from. Pee no wonder. Now I get it. <laughs>
<laughs> that's your Aretha Franklin. Oh my God. <laughs> that's your Aretha Franklin. Yeah, yeah, that's that's bacterial vaginosis. <laughs> no, that's boiled <laughs> egg. I done knocked the egg out of it. Oh my God. Yes, because it's so calm in the. P Most niggas, especially you full of them drugs, you gonna be fing with all the energy in the world. When it's time to come, he gonna come all in that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had a T cell on your. That's that's there. Oh, 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 a T cell on your. No. <laughs> ain't, ain't that the shit from Resident Evil? No, that's the, that's the shit in the body that uh, fights off infection. What's somebody say? Oh, I'm, what I'm thinking about the T virus. People don't know about certain strains of syphilis and uh, HIV. People don't people don't get tested even for herpes. Don't don't do it. People be dirty. I'm HIV positive, right? And this is just a PSA to those that are not HIV positive. Disclosure is my choice. When I disclose and how I disclose and who I disclose to is up to me. Ah, can't you kick her in the head? I find it so crazy how people are telling me that I need to disclose before I go on a date, that I need to disclose before I kiss somebody, before I even tell them my name. It's not happening. Lord Jesus. I don't think that it's my responsibility to tell someone that I'm HIV positive if they are treating me as if I'm not. One of Satan's greatest soldiers. Your health is your responsibility. Adopt the mindset of medical practitioners. Assume that everyone has something until they prove to you that they do not. Welcome to hell for the I think my body count was like 3,100. 3, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like 2,000 or whatever, but because her body count like 2,000. My body count like 3,000, so it's like, damn, like. My body count is, it's not 2,000, it's over 2,000 now. Like, How old are you? Interview, I'm 27. What? So since that interview, I've had sex with more people. <laughs> This is a sickness. We need to say of the highest. Order. Yes, it is. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is deviant. Therefore, we don't want. No, it. we don't. I saw that thing on your 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 thing. What is that? And the man proceeds to say, "That's just a cut. I cut myself while I was shaving." <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, at the time, the girl was very young and very naive, and she didn't necessarily know what she was getting herself into. So. Um, I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. Whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg <laughs> burned me with HSV2, and he told me that he was gonna send me his test results, and he never did. The agency does not make you test. Talent testing does not make you test for herpes. That is one of the only things that they don't make you test. What happened between you and Gucci third leg? I wouldn't test positive for HSV2 unless you had HSV2. If you gave me HSV1 genitally, I would test positive for HSV1, but just have it in my genitals. So, but I don't have HSV1, I have HSV2. What was that on his penis? That was HSV2. I have other women that are contacting me saying that their life has been ruined by him. Gucci, you're not safe. There's so many people that have come on to you for a really long time. You already developed a case for me. I told Old Gucci third leg when he did an interview with me a year and a half ago that his ass gonna get in trouble. Branding women. Branding yourself with somebody's name is so deep. I did not realize that. After I got that tattoo, I felt like I was actually tied to this. This was gonna be my husband for real, for real. There's no going back from this. This is gonna be my man. Dumb. Just dumb. <laughs> God damn You can't make this shit up. I want you guys to pay attention right there. That's the problem. Hey, stupid, the bitch attached to that was stupid. God damn, see this mother... <laughs> and they were doing contact tracing on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like saying, oh, well, if she'd collaborate, this person, Gucci collaborate, and they, they pulled out all of Gucci's girls, even some that link back to Aiden Ross. And this right this bitch! A lot of people, uh, Adam 22, and you know, they, they had a whole list of girls that Gucci had hit. Um, and so, you know, some of these girls are having to come out and prove that they got it or don't got it and stuff like that. Like, what? It Say it. I did sex. Yeah. There we go. Some truth. Damn. I wasn't. It was good. It was really good. She was throwing it back. You could handle it. Nah, she was kind of being the dominant one. Y'all yeah, gonna be honest with you. When I seen that, you, you seen that sex tape of hers drop, 
Like, it's I always jer- a chick's I, I, I jerked off to it, and that's what made me hit her up. You're lying. No, I'm being for real. But yeah, now nah, sexy red is a mother and she really with the she really up out them trenches. Yeah, 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 nah, nah, she a mother Leadership in this country has <laughs> made women who have a history of five or more uncommitted <laughs> in their body think that they are respectable people. Everybody who's respectable is left on the outside. The inside is the people who have done something where when you hold them up in the air, it's a whole bunch of dirt and sperm behind it. That's all I'm saying. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies, gentlemen, and polite savages, we are now about to embark on a journey sure to anger feminists and modern women alike. The only thing we could do is guarantee to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as we see it. So there's nothing else left to do but get on into it. Are you ready? Let's go. If you haven't heard by now, I'm sure you've heard that it's just getting nastier day by day. As these influencers and music artists are around screwing each other, promoting that whole slut horrid culture. Everyone is keep on giving the gift that keeps on giving. The over-sexual promiscuity is turning these internet streets, the music industry behind the scenes. Did he do it? Yeah, it's a straight up fest. You got women acting so loose, getting manipulated, bamboozled, tricked into doing scenes with dudes naming Gucci the third leg, having a whole set of herpes on his dick. But what's crazy about all this, polite savages, is that the victims become the villains. But before we get into that portion of this video, what we're going to do is check out Sexy Red refuting, denying that she may have had, allegedly, some kind of uh, get down with the get down with Gucci, the third leg. Why every time y'all see me with a nick, I think I'm in it. Hey, can I just chill? Can I hang out? God, I'm a grown superhero. Leave me alone. Unfortunately, Sexy Red, you have a pattern of history of being with other people's men, talking about stealing them dudes and throwing that thing on them. Now, I'm not saying that you did or you did not, but there is enough social media evidence out there on them streets. Flashback. Oh, my daddy, if you ain't gang, y'all niggas I ain't spraying none of you bitches. Y'all don't spur my n- so guess what? Yo, my n- Seen you Chief Keith a lot recently. Yeah. Um, over the last few months. Um, I know you were a big fan of him growing up. What, what, what's that relationship like now? And I'm not even saying that's my homeboy because I don't know what we got going on. We we like each other. Oh, you guys actually like each other too? Yeah. Like like each other. That's my n- Oh, your yeah. That's my n- My n- but, but how does that work with the- I'm gonna flex my house. This is my okay. hoe. <laughs> this is my hoe. You see that? <laughs> That's my hoe. This is the mind of the average woman to be a groupie for something of status. <laughs> Two ago, she said that, you know, Chief Keith is her brother, but they wasn't giving brother and sister vibes, if you know what I mean. He's my brother. Sexy Red was basically like, you can't trust these N-words. So she posted some photos with Chief Keith Chain. She put it on her cooter box and everything with the Kayla B. She posted up a photo of her and Chief Keith kissing with the caption that said, let's be a family at Sexy Red. Cause Kayla Damn. Kayla B. kissing Chief Keith in the mouth. Oh, they uh-huh. playing, playing. Oh, they bro, they, yeah, they playing a lot. And then, uh, I guess we gotta shred it. We shredding these, you know what I'm saying? Cause everybody who looking at her, who a man gonna try to f- they gonna be able to show Look at a big number. That's how mother do, we elite mother We ain't sitting here talking to no about no stupid If I you, then you are bothering me. That's how elite mother thing. I'm not gonna talk to you like we equal. You gotta put 
So you guys know Sexy Red is dating Chief Keith and King Von's sister Kayla B just so happens to be dating Chief Keith at the same time as Sexy Red. They both said they're never leaving him alone. Somebody else that was texting Sexy Red from Chief Keith phone, it could have been Kayla B or it could have been somebody else. But anyways, here's what Sexy Red had to say about that. Why are you texting that from phone pick me? Baby, I ain't never been to pick me. I didn't text no phone about no nigga. I didn't. All I said was, Kayla, be here. I'm not checking for no I'm checking to make sure you ain't sneak this to me, and I'm checking to make sure you ain't gay. First thing I do, I'm not going to no I type my name at the top. All I said was, Kayla, be here. End of flashback. So when you built yourself a reputation of being a honey sex kitten sex pot, what do you expect? Sexy red. Now, polite savages, do you think could it be that Sexy Red got herself an STD disease? Not saying that she did, but I'll let you pass a judgment on her and on these ladies running them streets, carelessly getting loose, passing that monkey around. You're f with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. It does not. So you a honey? It is not gonna count. No, I, I, exactly. It's not gonna count. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not gonna that's count. Different. Wait, so that means. What's your body count? 61, I answered this already. 61? Yeah. Maybe your father didn't spend enough time with Body you. count does not matter because I have over 100 bodies. Uh, 20 years old, right? Yes. Over 100 bodies. So Gucci the third leg is definitely a villain in all of this. Doing the dirty deeds, spreading the diseases all around these music circles and internet peoples. And let's say Sexy Red did escape the catastrophe of getting the clap or the herpes. But the music that she promotes is giving these ladies the wrong idea, influencing them more to make more poor decisions in their daily sex life. They be saying, we all sound the same, no, them do. We the ones bring the versatility. Different kind of Hey, y'all, it's Lotto. It's your girl, Flo Millie. This your favorite hottest princess, Sexy Red. It's a, like, hate train, fake hate train mm -hmm. with female rap right now. We humans, too. People don't think we are. Like, oh, you rich. Yeah. That don't mean we don't have real life problems like y'all. Later, y'all gonna look back like, damn, this was like a golden era for female hip-hop. Yeah. Oh really quick. Really quick. I just want you guys to notice something. In front of children, first thing she does is flips the bird. And then after she flips the bird, what does she do? Oh, she throws up a gang sign. She gonna throw up a gang sign in front of a bunch of children. And you guys wonder why I go in on her. And the nature of social media enhances the foolishness to the algorithms that push it over and over and over again. And guess what? These parents jumped a shark a long time ago. They don't watch what their children do. For every harlotin, for every Jezebel we had. Listen, man, Jezebels and, and, and people and who loose ladies, whatever, whatever you want to call it, living your best life, doing your thing on your hook, your whole fizzle, whatever, they always existed. But we always had a classy woman we could look at, bro. And now I just see more and more degradation. In America got a cold, black America got the flu. We're the canary in a coal mine a lot of times. A lot of times that because we're so on the edge of fashion and everything. Nobody takes the wreck, the mic right. XG pushing XP, breaking boundaries. Hit different, build different, new breed. There's a light bony nominee, top tier, that's a big G, probably. Yeah. yeah that people actually look at us and they look at us for, for the way because well, we make it cool, bro. You bite it. Bite it? Yeah. No, I'll bite it. And I told you to bite it. You ain't gonna tell me. Ha! Ah! That good. Let me eat. Three weeks later. When did you? When did you like contract? You know what I'm saying? Like I contracted herpes February 10th or the 13th, one of those two days, and I didn't find out that I had herpes until March. He got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. What's crazy about this whole situation? The outrageousness is that people like Danae Davis, DOF creator, is a victim of the Gucci the Third Leg, in addition to many other women that's reportedly that he's infected, allegedly. But what's crazy is the victim is also the perpetrator. Uh, I know this is kind of a personal question, but I'm curious. And the reason why I'm curious is a two two pointer. How many bodies did you have before you caught? And then how many do you have after? So Gucci was 44. 
I am now at 58. What the f oh, sh During the time, and listen, 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 listen. <laughs> After Gucci, right? Before I found out that I had herpes, I wild out. It's getting messier, stickier, and downright smellier. The merger is almost complete. The 304 rap is leading the charge with these OF creators going in hand in hand with the struggle rap, promoting the whole slut culture. The succubi, succubus are running them streets, spreading them diseases from the victim becoming the villain. And anyone can get it. The gift that keeps on giving, literally. He's done this to so many girls and there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young as well. He is preying on the young, he is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. And I was making so much money, I just... Gotcha, bitch! And I was making so much money, I just... Got him. We f got him. <laughs> That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true happiness. <laughs>